Welcome back to Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Uh, working on a 2001 Dodge Durango. Gets towed into me for a crank no start. Uh, customer thought it was a fuel pump issue. Uh, he went ahead and paid for a diagnostic, which was a good call on his part. So I've been looking at it for a minute, for a little bit here. Uh, let me walk you through what I've found so far. So it came in, first thing that I notice Turn the key on. No check engine light pops up. If you wait a second, it should pop up with a no bus. Oh, is it going to do it? It's flashing the odometer. No bus. If you can see that right down here, that means no communication. Now the check engine light's on, but it's saying no bus. Okay, so check engine light should pop up to do a bulb check right when you turn the key on. Um, obviously this no bus mesh message would not appear if there is communication to the PCM. Uh, so grab the scan tool. Get this thing set up. Grab the scan tool go into data display no communication all right so first thing we want to do is verify powers and grounds to the PCM which I have set up over here actually let's go uh, show you guys powers and grounds here is a wiring schematic try to hold it steady Dang it. Bear with me. All right, so fuse 10, 10 amp fuse comes down to the PCM. Fused ignition switch, pin two. We also have a two amp or 20 amp fuse, fuse two from the power PD, PDC, power distribution center, comes down to pin 22. There's the two powers, the grounds, we have a ground on pin 31 and a pound or ground <laughs> ground on pin 32. So I have All right. I have good old test light hooked up to battery positive. Right now we are checking the grounds. So here's a ground. Ground. Here's the other ground. Okay. Now let's switch it over. Let's check the powers over to battery negative. Same thing with the test light going to go to power and power. So powers and grounds are good to the PCM. What about the communication line, the PCI bus? So that's what we would want to check next, which I have the U-scope hooked up. If you can see, we are getting a PCI signal to the PCM right there with the, I think that's uh, pin 30 on the third connector, connector three. So verify powers, verify grounds to the PCM. One other thing that we do want to check is, if I can get this off, is five volt ref. So that I do not have set up. Set you guys down. Let 
maybe. Hook up the negative. Shoot. I also need. Okay, so do we have a five volt signal? Try to stay out of the view here. If you can see that, 4.79 volts. Five point one. We have a five volt ref. Powers and grounds. Data going to the PCM. This uh, this PCM is no good. So no communication to the our PCM is not communicating. There's communication going to the PCM. This thing needs a PCM. Uh, with no communication from the PCM, it is not grounding the ASD relay in order to start the vehicle. Plus, obviously, it's not sending any, 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 it's not sending any data out. So pretty quick one here, guys. I already have uh, the computer right here. Getting a new computer. Pretty sure this comes Okay, so it says right here, PCM, PCM VIN programming required. Okay, mm -hmm. you can do that with a scan tool. You do not need to go to Tech Authority to program this vehicle. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy. Chrysler's do make it nice, at least on this year, um, where the PCMs will come loaded or calibrated. Um, it does need the VIN. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Talk to you later.